Can you believe that every single day, the United States processes millions of tons of pork? Behind this massive operation is a seamless system of high-tech farms, automated facilities, and strict safety protocols, all working together to bring pork from farm to table with unmatched scale and speed. Let's take a closer look at how this incredible industry, uh, industry operates and why it plays a critical role not just in American food security, but in the global food chain. Modern pig farming in the U.S. has transformed dramatically in recent decades. Gone are the days of manual feeding and unmonitored pens. Today, many farms are powered by sophisticated automated control systems. These systems manage everything, from feed delivery to temperature, humidity, and ventilation, ensuring pigs grow in a clean, safe, and optimal environment. Sensors track pig movement, eating habits, and even health indicators. If a pig stops eating or shows signs of illness, alerts are sent directly to farm managers for rapid response. Large-scale farms often partner directly with processing plants. This vertical integration helps ensure that pigs are raised efficiently and humanely and meet strict quality standards before entering the production line. Pigs are provided with a nutritionally balanced diet formulated by veterinary nutritionists. Their feed usually includes a mix of grains, plant-based proteins, and essential minerals. This tailored diet helps pigs grow quickly, stay healthy, and build high-quality muscle. To reduce reliance on antibiotics, farms invest heavily in preventative care. Veterinarians monitor the pigs closely and the controlled environment reduces exposure to pathogens, meaning healthier animals and ultimately safer pork. Once pigs reach market weight, they are transported to USDA-approved processing facilities. Here, the transformation from livestock to packaged meat begins, and it happens with extraordinary precision. State-of-the-art machinery handles the cutting, sorting, and packing process. Pork is divided into various cuts, ribs, loins, shoulders, belly, and ground pork, based on current market demand. Robotics and AI ensure consistency in portion size and reduce waste. Each step is monitored by quality control specialists. Temperature, cleanliness, and safety are continuously tested. Any deviation triggers immediate intervention. One of the most impressive aspects of modern meat processing is the technology used to ensure sanitation. Facilities are equipped with air filtration systems, UV sterilization lights, and antimicrobial surfaces all designed to prevent contamination during packaging. Packaging is done in sealed, climate-controlled environments. Many plants use vacuum sealing and biodegradable packaging, which not only extends shelf life, but also supports environmental sustainability. Each package is labeled, barcoded, and entered into a traceability system before being moved to cold storage and eventually distributed to supermarkets across the country. The entire system, from farm to fork, operates under strict food safety regulations. The U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA, along with independent third-party agencies, enforces compliance through inspections, data monitoring, and facility audits. Processing plants must follow HACCP protocols a science-based system that identifies potential food safety hazards and puts controls in place to minimize risks. It's not just about meeting the minimum standards. Many companies go beyond compliance to ensure consumer trust, because in the food industry, reputation is everything.
What might seem like just a pork chop on your plate is actually the end product of an intricate technology-driven supply chain backed by data, science, and human expertise. Modern pork production in the U.S. isn't only about volume, it's about safety, sustainability, and efficiency. Consumers today care about where their food comes from, and this system is designed to provide transparency, accountability, and above all, trust. As food demands grow globally, the U.S. pork industry stands as a model of responsible agricultural scaling through innovation. Whether you're enjoying a pulled pork sandwich in Texas or a rack of ribs in New York, chances are it came from a facility that integrates AI, automation, and care at every stage. So, the next time you pick up pork at the grocery store, remember, there's a high-tech story behind every bite. Next, you will step into some of the largest crocodile farms in the world, where these animals produce outfits worth up to several thousand dollars. Let's see whether raising crocodiles is easy or not. Terrifying yet easy, a high-paying job at a crocodile farm. You may already know that Thailand is home to some of the world's largest crocodile farms. Around 1.2 million crocodiles are being raised in over 1,000 farms. Suri Ayutthaya alone owns up to 150,000 crocodiles. Crocodile meat is sold for up to 300 baht, which is about $9 per kilogram. The bile and blood of these reptiles are processed into medicine as they are believed to have health benefits, with corresponding values of 40,000 baht and 50,000 baht per kilogram, equivalent to over $1,000 per kilogram. Crocodile leather products, including Birkin-style handbags, are sold for up to 800,000 baht, $12,000 per piece, while a full crocodile leather outfit costs more than $50,000. In China, especially in provinces like Jiangsu, millions of crocodiles can be raised. To build such a large-scale farm, dozens of breeding ponds must be prepared. The enclosures should have water pools about 0.5 meters deep for the crocodiles to soak in, along with sandy areas for them to rest. In the early stages, baby crocodiles are kept in plastic basins at a ratio of 20 per basin for two weeks. After that, they are moved to larger enclosures to start eating solid food like small fish. About a month later, the crocodiles are transferred to tiled enclosures with water pools to help them adapt to the farming environment. Approximately three months later, the crocodiles are placed in mass farming enclosures at a density of two crocodiles per square meter for commercial breeding. Crocodile diet and farming costs. Crocodiles remain healthy even when fed only twice a week and having their water changed once a week. Their diet mainly consists of industrial chickens, discarded chickens, tilapia, and pig lungs. When whole chickens are thrown into the enclosure, the stronger crocodiles tend to eat more, while the weaker or more timid ones may only be left with bones. Therefore, the food must be chopped into smaller pieces. For example, in a farm raising 1 million crocodiles, if each crocodile consumes an average of 2 chickens per day, equivalent to about 3 kilograms of food, a total of 2 million chickens would be needed daily to sustain them. With each chicken costing around 20 yuan, the total daily food expense would amount to nearly 30 million yuan. Additionally, it takes 5 kilograms of food to produce 1 kilogram of market-ready crocodile meat. When factoring in labor, electricity and water costs, crocodiles must be sold at a minimum price of 40 yuan per kilogram just to break even. A major advantage is that crocodiles reproduce very quickly. A single female can lay between 20 to 50 eggs per clutch, leading to a rapid increase in population. Once released into large-scale farming enclosures, adult crocodiles are less prone to diseases, making their care relatively effortless, sometimes even cleaner than raising chickens or pigs. Workers at the crocodile farm earn around 5,000 to 7,000 yuan per month. Their job is simple, pulling carts of fresh food into the farm to feed 10,000 crocodiles. Pania Cheng Young, 49 years old, has been doing this job for over 25 years. For smaller crocodiles, he can walk straight into the enclosure wearing boots, but for the larger ones, he has to use a shovel to toss the food to them. However, despite the job seeming simple, he must always be extremely careful. A single moment of carelessness 
and he could end up becoming a meal for the very crocodiles he feeds. Do you know that a goose can cost up to 20,000 yuan per bird in China, known as the Rolls Royce of poultry? Yes, it is the lion-headed goose, and raising it is not easy at all. Dear friends, while regular geese typically weigh around 6 to 10 kilograms, the lion-headed goose originating from Siberia and China boasts a massive build, weighing up to 20 to 25 kilograms per bird. Some with dominant genes can even reach 40 kilograms. When fully grown, their thick, fluffy neck feathers resemble a lion's mane. On average, a regular goose costs between 500 and 800 yuan, equivalent to 60 to 100 dollars. The most expensive one ever sold in Guangdong in 2020 fetched over 14,000 yuan, or about $2,000. Of course, there's no smoke without fire. Such sky-high prices are due to their rarity. Moreover, in colder temperatures, their growth rate slows down, making them more prone to illness and even death. To make matters worse, the lion-headed goose takes more than two years to start laying eggs, producing only about 20 to 35 eggs per year and stops laying after five years. Even the goslings are extremely expensive. When it comes to the largest lion-headed goose farms in China, some span up to 5 million square meters and raise as many as 5 million geese annually. During the early stages, the goslings receive special care, with a diet mainly consisting of a mixture of bran, fresh grass, and small animals like shrimp and fish to ensure adequate nutrition. This helps them grow rapidly from just 2 to 3 kilograms at hatching to 15 to 20 kilograms in just 3 months. It is estimated that around 500,000 lion-headed geese are consumed each year, with the majority exported to countries like Japan and South Korea. When talking about geese, one cannot escape the controversy surrounding foie gras. Foie gras, caviar, and truffles are hailed as the three greatest delicacies in the world. It has a soft and elastic texture, a fragrant aroma, a delicate, smooth taste, and melts in the mouth. For example, Huaco County raises more than 5 million as geese, producing over 5,000 tons of foie gras, 20,000 tons of goose meat, and other byproducts each year. The total annual production value is nearly 2 billion yuan, equivalent to almost 300 million USD. However, to achieve that renowned rich flavor, the animals must endure a terrifying process. Specifically, geese have their mouths forcibly pried open, and a metal tube is inserted straight into their throats. Around 10 kilograms of grain, usually a mixture of corn, is pumped into their stomachs for force feeding. As a result, their livers swell abnormally, growing up to 10 times their normal size. An oversized liver presses against the lungs, making it difficult for the geese to breathe. Many become so heavy that they can no longer stand, some even break their legs under their own weight. Their esophagi suffer injuries due to excessive food intake, leading to fractured breastbones, fungal infections, diarrhea, liver dysfunction, and severe stress. They frantically pluck their feathers and attack each other. Some geese die from pneumonia or choke to death while swallowing the grains. According to research, Force-fed geese have a mortality rate 20 times higher than geese that are not subjected to this feeding process. After learning this, do you still want to try foie gras? Leave your answer in the comments below and share your thoughts with Lee Farm. How China Raises Millions of Chickens on Hills Did you know that China has the largest chicken population in the world, reaching 6.07 billion? It consumes 28 billion chicken feet each year meaning around 14 billion chickens are slaughtered. At the same time, China is also the world's largest egg producer, with 59 million tons, accounting for 51% of the global total, nine times more than the second largest producer, the US, 6.8 million tons. So, have you ever wondered how they manage to produce such a massive number of chickens? Most importantly, hill-raised chickens have firm, tasty meat, not mushy at all, these farms are usually located in mountainous areas at elevations of 500 to 1,500 meters above sea level. In terms of productivity, the chickens here are quite diligent, laying a steady 250 to 300 eggs per year. A large farm with around 100,000 chickens can produce 25 to 30 million eggs annually. If they also raise chickens for meat, they can supply 200,000 to 300,000 broiler chickens per year each weighing between 2 to 3 kilograms. 
The scale of these farms can be so massive that they feel like a chicken kingdom. But with the mountainous terrain, the chickens live comfortably, stay healthy, and are less prone to diseases, something every farmer would want. Each year, farmers in these highland areas collect millions of eggs from their strong, healthy hens and place them in modern incubators. The incubation period lasts about 21 days, and thanks to the mild natural climate, the hatching rate is impressively high, reaching 90 to 95 percent. The newly hatched chicks are carefully nurtured before being released outdoors, where they can roam freely, forage naturally, and grow without concerns about growth-promoting feed. Raising chickens in the mountains is not cheap. Besides the cost of purchasing chicks and natural feed, there are also expenses for healthcare and maintaining a suitable living environment for the chickens. However, in return, the eggs produced here are highly valued for their quality. Thick shells, rich yolks, and superior nutritional value. The selling price of each egg can range from 2 to 5 yuan, approximately 30 to 50 per egg. In another scene, the farm owner uses a whistle to call the chickens back for their meal of rice and grain. As soon as they hear the whistle, hundreds of chickens immediately take flight, soaring over hilly terrain from tens to hundreds of meters to reach the gathering spot. After landing, they flock together, running along the farm's pathways toward their owner. This method is used due to the mountainous farming environment. The chickens roam across vast, elevated terrain, making it impossible to call them in the usual way, like on regular farms. Instead, they have been trained to recognize the whistle as a signal that it's feeding time. Additionally, many farms equip their chickens with smart tags and track their life cycle using blockchain, with each chicken selling for up to $40. For example, in Bakiao town, Gisho, within an area of over 2 hectares, there are 6,000 free-roaming chickens. Farm owners attach health monitoring devices to the chickens' legs, utilizing technology to track each one individually, counting their steps and measuring their daily walking distance. Furthermore, blockchain helps ensure complete transparency regarding the chicken's status. If one suddenly drops dead, it's immediately recorded. Customers who want to purchase a chicken can access all this data through a smartphone app. While industrial farms typically raise chickens for about 40 days before slaughter, these chickens are raised for four times as long, 160 days before they can be processed. The Chinese believe that the older the chicken, the more valuable it is, and the better its meat tastes. What do you think about this? Is it the same in the US? If you've watched until now, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support us.